Never be too quick to jump up and do stuff for people. Think twice. Think three times, bro, before you jump up and do stuff for people. Because these same people in the future, there's so many things that I talk about in my videos. And there's an undeniable common denominator between all of the topics. My stepfather gave me a good piece of advice 13 years ago when I was 17 years old. The ends don't care about you. All these people that you're trying to build up a reputation for to show them that you're the really shoot on the ends. In years to come, they're not even going to think about you. Furthermore, you're not even going to see them. I go to Edmonton every other weekend. I walk around Edmonton Green and that. Man, don't see nobody I know like that. Every now and then, might see one, two people like my nose and that. But it weren't like when I was 17. It weren't like when man was a late teenager. Blah. I remember one ex girlfriend from Ilfa, she used to come down. We used to go over to Edmonton Green to go to local Asda or whatever. And one time she said, Jay, are you like some sort of like celebrity in the area? I said, why? She was like, every time we go over to the Green, which is right in my mum's yard, every time we go over to the Green, you say hello to somebody new. I'm like, obviously, Man know people, obviously man's one of the guys of the area and that, and obviously man born and bred in this area, of course I'm going to know bare people and that. But now, 13 years later, man's 30 years old, plum, I don't see no one like that. Not on the scale, not on the magnitude as I used to see people back in the day, plum. The ends don't care about you. People will forget you, blood. Literally. One thing I like to talk about, think twice. Think 10 times before you jump up and go and defend your female cousins and that. Because your female cousin will get mashed up by their boyfriend. You go and brock him up. He might snitch on you. But furthermore, forget about him snitching on you or whatever. You go and brock him up and she'll get back with him within 6 to 12 months. So what was the fucking point of stepping on him? What was the point? You could be sitting in jail, blood. Your female cousin got put no money on your books. She ain't coming to visit you on the month, every month. She ain't willing to work overtime to put money on your books because she can't afford it at that moment in time. But you're sitting down in jail, rotting blood. Think twice. Think three times, think ten times before you jump up and go and defend any female cousins and that because blood, it will backfire. I'm telling you. That you, that white you, the, sorry, the mixed race you, the one, the, fo the footballer. Imagine the brother or the dad or the uncle go and mash him up because of what he done to the, the, the local girl. And then what, six months to a year later, she's pregnant or at least they're back together. Their efforts would have been in vain, blood. One next thing I'd like to talk about. Imagine putting your ideas, putting your dreams, putting your aspirations and your ambitions on hold because you're scared of what the people them around you in your close proximity might think of you. Imagine not going through with an idea because I want to start this podcast and that and I want to talk some true shit but the people them around me might not like what I've got to say. They might want to stop talking to me and that. Imagine putting your idea on hold for these same people in 10 years' time to not talk to you no more over some dumb argument. Or, you know how it is, you just lose contact with people. I know it's true, blood. Think about your best friend in primary school. Think about your best friend in school, secondary school, college, uni, your, your, your closest work colleague that you've ever had before. Think about all them people. Let's say they amount to 10 people. How many of them people there right now contact you on a monthly basis, let alone a weekly basis? One, two, imagine putting your ideas on hold for these people to just forget about you, not chat to you. But any ideas you've got, go through with them. Forget everyone around you. If they don't want to talk to you and that, fuck them, blood. They probably weren't going to talk to you anyway. Think about it. Think about all the people then that you used to associate with. Over the last two decades of your life, the last 20 years of your life, the last 15 years of your life. It don't matter if you was a child back then. It don't matter. Where are they right now, blood? They're not in your life, blood. So, I spoke about the ends don't care about you. The people them that, you know, you're trying to impress and that, whatever, what my stepdad said to me, the people them that I'm trying to impress, trying to build up clout for to trash all and that means they really shoot at the ends. 
I don't see my name no more. These girl cousins and that, that might get broke up by their boyfriend, they have to go and brought them up or whatever. They will have amnesia when it comes time to getting back with them. Then I spoke about putting your ideas on hold for people that you might not even talk to in five, ten years, maybe even two years time, bro. The common denominator between all three of the scenarios that I just spoke about is people are fickle, blood. They forget. They forget about stuff that you might do for them. You rub someone up the wrong way, blood, they'll drop you out just like that. They don't give a fuck, blood. Now, what inspired me to make this video, I was thinking about two scenarios where I'm like, Ruha. one scenario, I did say something for someone and another scenario, I didn't say anything for someone, not that I'm obligated to in any of the scenarios and that. And I thought to myself, I regret saying that for someone at the time. And I'm glad I didn't say this for someone at that time. So the first one, because I'll do it in chronological order. One of my guys, you get me, he ain't like that. You feel me? It was his birthday or something like that. Him and his brethren were running for a bus on his estate or something. Some youths stopped him on his, on his estate. Asked him where he's from, I don't know, banged him in his face, I think broke his jaw. My man had to go to hospital that day, innit? So boom, obviously, man heard about it and that. And I don't even know how I was put I was able to put two and two together and know who it was. But anyway, me and my guys, obviously, we're the A-team at Edmonton, innit? We was coming back from one studio near the Coca-Cola factory in Edmonton. And we're walking through this particular estate, and there were some youths, they're like the local youths on the estate, innit? And Maybe my guy must have told me the youth's name, I can't remember in it, but obviously there's a few of us and there's a few of them and we start talking to them because obviously everyone knows each other in Edmonton, innit? I'm like, hold oh, on a minute, you're that you, you box my brother in the face, man, you fucking mad, blood. Listen, next time you see him, you yeah, don't even touch him, don't even talk to him, yeah? Make sure that don't happen again, innit? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that, man. Of course, he man didn't know him, innit? Imagine, imagine me stepping in for my friend who's not on shit, who will not do the same for me. Imagine me stepping in for him and then another day, I remember when I when I saw this you, he was with his people and I'm with my people. So it's a fair fight if anything was to kick off. Imagine the next day, I'm walking through that area. I'm on my own and there's three, four of them. Hey, yo, hey, what did you say the other day, blah, blah, blah? Don't chat to my bread and that. But who are you chatting to? Now, there's four men on, man. Imagine me getting rushed for someone who now... That's what I'm saying about doing stuff for people and it could backfire. More than likely, it will backfire. People will forget. Imagine me defending a man, stepping, you get me, and, and trying to protect a man to some degree or whatever, or getting involved, let's call it, for a man that when I try to get hold of him in the future, like, yo, fam, like, what are you saying? What, what are you up to? And that, like, I'm down on the ends, innit, for like four or five days. Let me know when you're free, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm saying... <laughs> imagine imagine me going down to the ends and i'm saying to a man yo i'm down on the ends for like four to six days or whatever and i'm down for the week let me know when you're free let me know when you got two hours free i'll come to you so it's a less of a convenience for you to come to me i'll come to you and that and a man's telling me oh yeah i'm busy man i'm like raw you know i'm on the ends for the next week you know i'm not working so you know i ain't got much going on and you ain't got two hours well would you what what, what, what do you work 24 hours a day what do you mean you ain't got two hours for me to come check you, blood? So a man hasn't, is not willing to give me his two hours, but then what, 10 years ago or whatever, I'm putting myself in a position where you never know. This thing could backfire. Man could get poked up and that. This is why man is not, nowadays, I'm not quick to be stepping in and defending nobody. Only my mum and my little sister. That's it, blood. Everyone else, man would have to really think this thing through. Is it, is it really worth it? Imagine that, Ima imagine me putting myself in a position where man could come step on me and that. All right, cool. A man didn't summon me to say, oh, when you see these guys, please have a word with them. Don't get it twisted. But still, I've gone out of my way to get involved to somewhat defend a man for a man to not even give me two hours of his time in the future like he's some rascal like president, like he's fucking busy, blood. Who the fuck is that busy? It's the same man I will sit down and play video games and that, blood. Next situation, one of my family members and that was own a property and then they bought a property around the corner, like literally a one minute walk around the corner. The original property, they made that a buy to let, 
So they rented that one out and they've moved and resided in a property around the corner. And allegedly, well, see my family member, my family member is black, isn't it? Allegedly, the neighbor was racist. The neighbors consisted of some older white people who's like 55 or maybe 60 years old, but they had a son who was like 30 and he was racist, allegedly. And my family member is a female, she's black. Her boyfriend is white, fucking dickhead you, blood. He's one of them man there. He used to, it, you know, he never even used to say anything specific to my family member and that, but it was like, I don't know, just his attitude, his tone of voice and that. And I used to think, you know, to stick it on the mouth, you know, fuck it, what the fuck am I getting involved? I don't even rate this shoot. Like, if you saw this shoot, like, you know, like, there's certain calibers of man that you don't expect your people them to deal with and you're dealing with that. You're an idiot. Like, let's say someone, I'm not even talking about looks. Like, this guy works in a fucking bookies. He, no ambition. Yet still, the person that he's dealing with, my family member, she's got a good career behind her dealing with some guy that works in a fucking bookies. But imagine, you know a girl who's a fucking uh, uh, a mortgage advisor or something like that, but her boyfriend works in a fucking betting shop. You're going to think, you need to pattern up, man. Get something of better and higher calibre and that. Certain times I used to think to myself, I should, I should say something to him like, I don't really like his tone in it, but it's not not a major or disrespectful now. But you know, I let it go in it because I think this 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 family member is an idiot for dealing with this guy in the first place, isn't it? And now that I think about it, there's two situations in this one scenario that I'm talking about. So anyway, apparently this neighbor's house that they moved next to, the son is racist. This 30 year old man is racist. And apparently he was saying a couple things and that over the fence or whatever, doing something disrespectful. I don't know, throw a can, throw, throw a can in the front garden or back garden. I don't know any. Something disrespectful. Something that I would have flew off the handle for it. Yeah. Me being me, I would think. And I think that they, they, they said something to the older family member that was there as well. Yeah. But anyway, me, I'm the type of man, I'll think, what? I'll go over there and you get me say something, cause I know I'm a hands-on man. But for some reason, I just said, fuck it, forget it. You know now, I might not even talk to this family member no more, you know. So imagine me putting myself in a position where I could be rolling around with a man for a family member that I don't talk to no more. I could go to jail, blood, for a family member that don't want to talk to me no more because we got into some little business and I told them that their service is shit. Imagine I'm an electrician, I do a shit job and I tell them, Your, the job that you've done for me is shit. Now they don't want to talk to me because I told them the honest truth. You don't know what you're doing, blood. Because it's evident they don't know what they're doing. They fucked up my what, what I, I hired them to do. They fucked it up. So now they don't want to talk to man because I was honest and truthful and brutal with them. So imagine me getting into arguments with some dumb dickhead boyfriend and that for this for this family member to not talk to me potentially over that situation. Or imagine me going down there and rolling around and fighting with that man for this family member to not talk to me in years to come. I'm so glad I never even said nothing or got involved in that situation, blood. Imagine that. Imagine me going down there to go and brock up and bust up a man or whatever, and then for this person to just, oh, I don't like the way he spoke to me. He told me that my service is shit, so I don't want to talk to him no more. You're on your own, blood. Man, don't defend nobody, fam. Not defending no one. Not defending no female cousins. I don't give a fuck. You can watch this. If your boyfriend brocks you up, then you got broke up by your boyfriend, innit? I don't care. Because I don't know. These girls will still go back to their boyfriends after six months to a year, fam. I'll be in jail. They're not putting no money on my books. They're not coming to visit me. If they can't afford to put money on my books, they're not working overtime. So why am I doing time for them, blood? So, yeah, man. That's it for today, man. Be careful. Think twice, think three, three, ten times before you jump up and go and back people and defend people and do stuff for people. Because they'll forget about you. It could be something simple. You don't even have to be no physical altercations and that. You can let someone could be dire straits and that. Someone could be flat on their face and you bust them two, three, four, five grand just to get them out of the situation and that. Make you fall out with them in two years' time. They will forget what you've done for them, you know. I'm not putting myself out, out, out for no human being that can just... Forget what I've done for them. Fuck that, blood. I see with this YouTube thing, man made these videos and that. You see all of my cousins and family members and that. Blood, they forget, man, blood. I used to have bare man texting me and, yo, every night and, yo, I go on and that. 
Nobody contacts me and that. It's cool. It's cool, isn't it? But man, remember that, innit? Literally, it's almost like man's disappeared off the face of the earth to them, innit? But it's funny though, they still watch me on Insta and that, but they don't contact me and that. But anyway, that's 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 uh I ain't even gonna but I was gonna say that's the next the next video. I ain't even gonna bore waste my time on these people, but I told you already in the next in a video previously why I don't visit family members and that. But yeah, man, that's it for today, man. Be careful, think twice, think ten times before you jump up and do it or go out of your way for anybody, blood. Because at some point in their in, in, in their life, bro, you might say something or do something to them, they'll just forget you, bro. Like you're not even fucking there for. Stay wise. Done, man.